Hey everyone, so if you don't know me, I am Mr. Justin and I work with Mr. Brian, but I'm just kind of helping him out with some of these virtual drama videos. And you probably know this, but we are with the Quinnon Street Project. And so we are going to be bringing you your drama classes virtually from now, but hopefully we will get to see you soon in the classrooms. But just so you have a brief recap, drama is about telling a story using three tools of an actor. You probably know this, but there is body, voice, and imagination, just like SpongeBob. And uh, so today we're gonna be doing a really cool one, and this one is all about movement. And so first I'm gonna warm you up and do a one word check-in, and then Mr. Brian's gonna take over and do the other part of the video. So. Uh, remember for these one word check-ins, we're just going to say our names. Um, and if you could do this with people that you're around or if you're by yourself, that's cool too. Um, just like me. Uh, but you say your name and just one word, how you're feeling, uh, today. And so I'll start it off and I say, I'm just, I'm Mr. Justin and I'm feeling energetic. And so I'll give you the space and time to do that too. Awesome, awesome. So, well, thank you for letting me know how you're feeling. Um, and I'm so glad to be here. And let's actually start off our warm up. And so, we're going to start off with a body warm up. And so, first, we're going to reach up really high. Just, you know, copy me. And so, reach up really high. I can even touch the ceiling on this. Whoa. And so, reach up really high. Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your spirit fingers. Get those spirit fingers going. And drop out the wrist just like this. And swing it to the left. And to the right, left, and the right, and wave them like you just don't care. Just wave them out, wave them out, wave them out. Ooh. And then stop that, keep them frozen, and drop to the elbows just like this. Then you can go up like that, and then down, up, down, up, and down, and up, and to the side, down, up, down, up, and funky chicken. Oh, yeah. We're keeping it silly here in drama class. Funky chicken and stop. And then put it up to the front. And we're going to drop our arms, but keep our shoulders up. And so one, two, three, drop. Just like this. And we're going to drop our right shoulder. Boom. But keep the left one up. And then switch. 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 Mm-mm-mm. 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 Awesome. And then put them both up. And on exhale, so when we breathe out, you're going to let go and go, ah, awesome, awesome. And so we're going to do our chest. So like a superhero, so put your so put your hands on your side and stick your chest out like your favorite superhero. Whoa. Mine is Black Panther, so that's what I'm imagining right now. And like a super villain, so your favorite super villain, mine is Killmonger, of course. You're gonna stick your chest back, get in a little, little, little bit of this. Yeah, just like that. You can even add like a little, a little laugh, like yeah, 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 if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then superhero, super villain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Superhero and villain. Hero and villain. Excellent. All right. Nice job. Now that we kind of got our body warmed up, you can also like shake out a little bit, shake it, shake everything out. Oh, 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 and roll your head a little bit, roll your neck just to kind of get that a little bit loose. Forgot about that. But that feels super nice. And send it back the other way. And it back the other way and awesome. Great. And so now let us do a vocal warm up. And so repeat after me. Pa 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 pa. Ba 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 ba. Ta 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 ta. Da 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 da. Ka 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 ka. Ga 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 ga. Ga 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 ga. Ka 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 ka. Da 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 da. T -t -t ta pa 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 and ba 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 awesome s 
And last one. Nice, nice, a little sassy. Awesome. All right. And so right now we are going to do a imagination warm up. And it's also going to warm up our face a little bit. And so we are going to take our imaginary box and we're going to open that box. And it's a box full of our magical string and our scissors. So we're going to take a piece of magical string, lick one side of it, put it on our cheek, grab another one, lick it. Put it on the side of our other cheek. Lick the, la lick the third one. Put it on our forehead. And grab the last one. Lick it. Put it on our chin. Awesome. Close your box. Put it off to the side or in front of you. And got to test our string. Just make sure you just kind of pull it pull it down first. Oh. Uh-huh. Pull it to one side. Oh. That's how it is. And then pull it up. And pull it to the other side. Oh. Nice, nice, and pull it back down. Whew. Nice, nice. And so let's go in a circle. Uh, nice and slow though, because we got sound. There it is. Uh, you can even make these sound effects too. Uh, nice. And go back the other way and do it pretty fast. So, nice. And put it up one more. Ooh, ooh. And okay. And pull it to the side. Ooh. Pull it down. Ooh. All right. And then go into your box, grab your scissors, and cut the string off. Oh, releasing your face. Put the scissors back. Wipe off all that string on your on your face. It's magical string, so it goes back together when you put it back in the box. And so put it back in the box. Grab your box. Close said box. Put your box off to the side. And say, see you next time, box. Awesome. And so, Mr. Brian is going to take you through the rest of the lesson. But just know, we are going to be talking about, again, we're going to be talking about Tableau, which is a frozen picture, and Pantomime, which is a silent moving activity and so mr brian's gonna kick it off so good to talk to you all over the phone and so have a good rest of your day and good luck hey everyone mr brian here for the second half of your drama class all right so for the next part of class we are going to explore our word of the day a little bit more movement and the hook of this uh, part of the class is that we're going to look at uh, the difference between being still, like a statue, and then that's one kind of movement, being still like a statue, and the other kind of movement is silent movement. Emphasis on silent. And I say that because our next activity is one of my favorite games. It is called Wax Museum. And if you've played this game before or a version of this game, cool. I'm going to teach you my version of, it, version of it. Oh, man, I need to warm up my voice. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is there's going to be one night guard. And I'm going to explain this to you, and then you're going to decide exactly how you would like to play it. Okay, so this game can be, can be played a few different ways. The way that I teach it is that one person is going to be the night guard. And that person is going to be standing, well, I guess, um, on one side of the room. And their back is going to be turned. Back is turned. All right. Meanwhile, everybody else has to be moving around the room silently. All right. And each round, we are going to choose, or I guess you're going to choose, a character, a type of character that you could be. It could be anything from a dinosaur, well, you know, whatever dinosaur you want. This is my dinosaur. But the second that the guard, remember, their back is turned. The second that the guard turns around, you have to be frozen. Everybody else has to be frozen. So if you're moving around as dinosaurs and the guard has their back turned, the second that they turn around, you have to be frozen as that character. Now, the fun part about this is you get to play around being different characters because each round, 
until everyone except one person is eliminated. Try to keep each round like, I don't know, like four or five minutes. So that way everyone gets a fresh turn after. So again, you have one night guard. Everybody else is going to be a character, the same kind of character. So if you decide we're going to be dinosaurs, all right? The night guard is going to turn around. Everybody else is going to be dinosaurs silently moving. If you make a sound, you're out. Silently moving. When the night guard turns around, you have to be frozen as a dinosaur. If you're not frozen as a dinosaur, the night guard will call you out. I'm going to stop explaining this in a second. But if the night guard calls you out, just sit out until everybody except one person is eliminated. Or until your four minutes is up. Deal? All right. So, uh, with that said, let's brainstorm. What are some kind of characters that we could be? Okay, I said dinosaurs. I don't know, dinosaurs is on my brain right now. We could be astronauts. We could be dancers. You can choose your specific kind of dancer. You could be a ballerina. You could be other kinds of dancers that I can't think of right now. Um, you could be, uh, let's see here, what else? Uh, you don't have to be characters, too. You could be... Uh, you could be objects, play around with, uh, you, could be, uh, you could be beach balls, and you just have to form yourselves into beach balls and use your imagination, all right? Remember, imagination, and transform yourselves into beach balls. How would a beach ball silently move around? How would it freeze, okay? So, uh, with that said, you can play this game like you're doing with me right now. You can get your friends on Skype. You can, uh, I don't know, uh, Google video chat. Because all of us are going to be watching this, all of us are going to be at home, you could do a group video chat, and you could take turns. Decide one person to be the night guard, and then everyone can get a turn being the night guard. If that person, and it works, actually it works really well, because if that person says, you're out, say the name, say, Mr. Brian, you're out, and Mr. Brian has to sit down and just wait, because each round is going to be just a few minutes, all right? If you have any questions, um, well, I can't really answer them. Rewind and replay the rules. And remember, it's just a game, so have fun. All right? Enjoy. Now, if you're going to play it, hit pause right now. And then hit play once you're ready to resume. So pause if you need to, and then hit play when you're ready. I'll wait. Okay, so how'd it go? Did you have fun playing Wax Museum? All right, you can play that with parents, you can play that with friends, you could be online playing that. When we're back in the classroom, you could play it there. I love that game, I really do. All right, um, and the thing that I want us to think about is just thinking about it, reflecting on that. Um, remember, it's a lot more fun if you fully embrace the character. So if you're a dinosaur, I kind of I did a little version, but be a real dinosaur, choose your dinosaur. If it's a T-Rex, small arms, how would it move around the room? All right, so um, really just be the character. You have the freedom and safe space to be silly. I want you to have fun with this. So if you're having fun, I'm having fun. If you're being silly, most likely you're having fun. All right, so be brave, make a choice. Um, other thing I want us to think about, when we're playing Wax Museum, when, if, if, uh, uh, rewind, in Wax Museum, I want to introduce some words, okay? Tableau. Can you say that word, tableau? Good. Tableau. If tableau means frozen picture, like a statue, and the other word, Pantomime. Can we all say pantomime? Try it. Pantomime. If pantomime means silent movement, if tableau is frozen and pantomime is silent movement, when we're playing Wax Museum, when are we a tableau, a frozen picture? And when are we, when are we a pantomime? Think about it, all right? I want you to take a second, think about it, think about it, think about when you're playing the game, 
when are you a tableau and when are you a pantomime? That's right. If you said a tableau is when the night guard turns around and you're all frozen, you are tableaus. That is absolutely correct. And if that means you're frozen then, when the night guard has their back turned and you're silently moving, as your character is silently moving, that is absolutely when you are a pantomime. So, to recap, tableau is when the night guard is looking at you and you're frozen. And pantomime is when the night guard has their back turned and you're silently sneaking around the room. All right, all right, moving on to the next part. Um, this activity is called, what are you doing? Now this one, I want you to have, uh, it would be great if we had someone else in the room with you because you can do this back and forth. You need at least one other person because it starts off like this. If you have someone next to you or someone in front of you, at least one other person, one person is gonna start. So for example, I want you to think of an activity, something that you can easily do, some easy activity that you can repeat, whether it's brushing your teeth, whether it's bouncing a basketball, whether it's jumping rope, just be able to keep it going because you're gonna to need to do that. Something simple, something you do every day, all right? Think about a simple activity, and if you need a pause, or if you think of one in a minute, that's okay. But right now, think of it, think of it, think of it. Bouncing a ball, brushing your teeth, combing your hair, uh, doing jumping jacks, uh, riding a motorcycle, whatever it is, think about it. All right, now listen. Uh, one person is gonna start, and the other person just has to pay attention and be nearby. Well, at least, you know, be a few feet away, but be close enough that you can watch, all right? And one person starts. I'm gonna be the person that starts. And I'm gonna start an activity silently. And the person next to me is gonna ask, they're gonna ask over there, they're gonna say, what are you doing? And I'm gonna say, something different because obviously I'm brushing my teeth. I'm going to give them a different activity that's in my head. I'm going to say the first thought that comes to mind, I'm going to say bouncing a ball. And as soon as I tell them that I get to stop because they are going to start bouncing a ball. And when it's, and since it's their turn, you can stop brushing your teeth or whatever activity you're doing. They're going to be bouncing a ball and it's your turn to say to them, what are you doing? Now they're bouncing a ball and they're gonna ask, and they're gonna say something different than bouncing a ball back to you. So if they're bouncing a ball, they might say, uh, jumping rope. And as soon as they say that, they stop and you start jumping rope. And it just goes back and forth. I'm gonna keep jumping rope because they're gonna ask me, what are you doing? And I'm gonna give them a different activity, something brand new. I'm gonna say, uh, I'm going to say, oh my gosh, I can't think of anything. I'm going to say doing jumping jacks. I get to stop because they are going to now do jumping jacks. All right. And it goes back and forth, back and forth. If you have more people in your house, in your home right now, you could get into a circle and you could all go back and forth. So remember, one person starts and they're doing an activity. The person next to you or across from you is going to say, what are you doing? You give them an activity, you stop doing yours, they start to do their activity, and the person next to them, or if it's just you and them, the other person will then say, what are you doing? And they give you a brand new activity, different than what they're doing. All right? All right, give it a try, and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, so pause right now to give that a try, and hit play when you're ready to resume. All right, since you're here, how'd it go? Good, I hope, good, good. All right, so the next activity is called, uh, oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. So I just wanna remember, when you're doing that activity, as a reminder, silent movement, we talked about that, is pantomime. So say that with me three times fast, pantomime, pantomime, pantomime. Silent movement, all right? So last but not least, this activity is called Magic Rocks. 
And what I want you to do now, use your bodies, use your imaginations, and get down low into a magic rock pose. All right, imagine I'm on the ground right now as low as I can. So don't be laying on the ground, but squat down as low as you can. I'm gonna do this because of the frame of the camera. Down low, and when I say magic rocks go, I want you to shoot up as tall as you can into a statue of whatever I call out. All right, so let's give this a try. It's very, very, very straightforward. So everyone, into magic rocks, go. And when I say magic rocks, go, you guessed it, I want you to transform into a tall, big statue of a dinosaur. Any dinosaur you want. So, ready? Magic rocks, go. I want you to transform your whole body, your face, big, 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 in five, four, three, two, one, freeze. And stay like that, stay like that. Because, back to magic rocks. All right, and when I say magic rocks go, we're gonna transform into something else. I want you to transform into, <gasps> no, I want you to transform into ballerinas. When I say magic rocks go and not before. Ready, set, bro. Ah, got you. All right, ready, set, magic rocks go. Transform your whole body into five, Four, three, two, one, and freeze. Good. And hold it, hold it, hold it. Transforming your whole body, your face included, how you feel. And back to magic rocks. All right. And now, when I say magic rocks go, I want you to transform into statues of... Oh, I can't think of anything today. Uh, <laughs> I want you to transform to statues of, uh, oh, uh, a puppy. Magic rocks go in five, four, three, two, one, and freeze. And back to magic rocks. Good. All right, let's do a few more. When I say magic rocks go, I want you to transform into statues of the world's sneakiest spy. Magic rocks go in five, four, three, two, one, freeze. Back to magic rocks. All right, let's do two more. When I say magic rocks go, I want you to transform this can be a little faster, into a rock star. All right, magic rocks. Go in five, four, three, two, one, freeze. Back to magic rocks. And when I say magic rocks go, I want you to transform into a statue of... Hmm. I want you to transform into a statue of... Oh, an astronaut. Magic rocks, go. Five, four, three, two, one, freeze. And back to magic rocks. Good. Actor neutral. All right, boys and girls, you can do this a few different times on your own. Maybe you can do it with friends as well, or people in the house. What you can do is uh, just take turns calling out the different things for magic rocks, all right? It's a really good practice tool to understand Tableau, and uh, yeah, it's just fun. All right, um, so I guess that's kind of it for today, boys and girls. But before we finish, I want us to think about exactly um, the words pantomime and tableau. Pantomime, silent movement. Tableau, frozen picture. And I want you to think about parts of your story from home. Uh, in Wolfman, uh, Wolfman's class, we had the pink refrigerator. We had uh, Dodsworth in the junkyard. And Dodsworth, if you don't remember, that's okay. Dodsworth, the mouse in the junkyard, finds that magical refrigerator. And all the cool things, when you open up the refrigerator, when Dodsworth opens up the refrigerator, like instruments, cooking utensils, and all these cool things that Dodsworth is able to do. So, 
think about it. Think about uh, dogs were at the pink refrigerator. In Miner's class, we had Grace for president. And Grace, remember, Grace was upset because there were no girls ever for president before. And she's right. There should be. So in that story, we had Grace, the class. We had her running for president. We had, uh, I can't think of the name, but the person she was running against. We had people voting. We had people cheering. We had uh, Grace paying attention, making sure that she went out and listened to everybody and tried to really make a difference. We had uh, the other person who she was running against kind of not really pay attention. He just went to soccer practice. So, I mean, I guess. Uh, so, in those stories, so remember, in Wolfman's class, we had Pink Refrigerator. In Miner's class, we had Grace for President. Now, I want you to think, from home, can you create a tableau from different parts of the story? Can you create a pantomime from different parts of the story? Just in your own time right now, I want to see what you can create. If you have a favorite part from the story, see if you can create a tableau or a pantomime just using your body. And if you want, uh, it might be kind of fun if we got, uh, we were able to do this online with other people in the class. So if you get a group chat going, you could all take turns showing off a tableau from your favorite part of the story. It could be something as simple as, let's take the moment in Pink Refrigerator, and we'll do both stories. In Pink Refrigerator, dogs were opening up the refrigerator the first time. All right, so a tableau might be, because it's as simple as the refrigerator and it's open and Dodgeworth, we have to have the reaction on the face. Remember, the whole body, the whole face. Or it could be Dodgeworth in a pantomime opening up the refrigerator. Pantomime is silent. So let's see. We'd have... See the difference? Tableau and pantomime. Same moment. But you get to pick your favorite part from the story. In Miner's class, in Grace for President, we might have, oh, one of my favorite parts is the drama at the end, when people are voting and we're not sure who's gonna win. So we might just have one of the parts where uh, one of the states comes up to the podium and casts the vote. We might have, oh, and we could do that as a tableau. Because here's the podium. Or as a pantomime. Same moment, just different ways of representing it. So, in your own free time now, I want you to try practicing. You could do it with friends, you could do it with family, you could do it online. Think of your favorite parts from the story, or parts that you remember. And if you're not sure, uh, just take a moment for yourself. You've got plenty of time. And create tableaus or pantomimes. All right? Um, that's it, though. All right, uh, thank you so much for your time. On behalf of Mr. Justin and myself, have a great day, and put your hand in the middle. We're going to say drama class on three. All right? One, two, three. Drama class! Bye.